Hello friends, Jai Shri Ram. In my last video, I told you how to connect your laptop to your TV using HDMI to HDMI cable. So this is the HDMI to HDMI cable that we saw. Uh, it has two male HDMI pins on both the sides. So one end of this HDMI uh, cable, uh, you connect to the HDMI slot of the laptop. So it starts receiving the signal. And the other end, uh, you put in one of the HDMI slots of your TV or monitor. So my TV over here has three HDMI slots. So pick any one of them. And then I told you how to go in the menu and how to uh, connect it. Uh, I mean, how to select the input as the HDMI one. Okay. So this is uh, how we connected it the last time. And uh, to broadcast, I told you that do Windows P. So that is a project and here you can choose one of the options. So I would normally choose extend. But in this approach, there were two downsides. One is you have to keep the laptop very close to your TV. Okay, because the HDMI cable has a fixed length. And if you uh, try and purchase an HDMI cable, which is very long, then it is also going to cost you very much. Okay, so HDMI cables are really costly. Even this cable uh, is 4000 rupees. Okay, and another downside is that even if you use a wireless uh, a remote and mouse and you sit over here, let us say, then also from this distance, just imagine, can you see the laptop? Can you see what is going on on that laptop screen? You cannot see, right? So even if you have an extended display, actually you won't be using your laptop screen from this distance. Okay, so that laptop screen goes for a waste. Okay, and that's what I don't want. So to ta uh, target these two limitations, I have uh, uh, taken a wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. So this is the HDMI transmitter and this is the HDMI receiver. Both of them are very much similar. Uh, one you have to connect to your laptop, another you have to connect to your TV or your monitor. Okay, so how will you do that? See, both of them are exactly the same. How will you identify which one is the transmitter, which one is the receiver? So both of them have an HDMI pin and a, uh, a you know USB pin. Okay, both of them have exactly the same thing. The only difference is if you see the HDMI pin or USB pin also, uh, you will see computer written over here. That means this is the transmitter. Okay, this goes in the computer and it will transmit the signal. And this other thing has a TV or monitor written on it. That means this is the receiver. Okay. So it will basically receive the signal from the TV, uh, sorry, from the uh, laptop or your PC. Okay. So this is how you identify them. Now, why do they have HDMI pin and USB pin, both of them? See, because transmitter and receiver, these are antennae. Okay. Antenna basically works on the principle of transmitting some signal and the signal strength is usually not sufficient for transmitting it. So it has to be amplified or it has to be modified to a certain frequency. So for doing that kind of a things, you require energy, right? You require power. So here USB is that power. So basically transmitter must be somewhere over here, uh, uh, very much near to HDMI slot. Uh, but to power that transmission machinery, you require some power, very little power, but some power is needed. That power is received from this USB port. This is very much similar to charging your phone. USB can be used for charging. You know that, right? So here USB is being used. Uh, to charge this mechanism uh, which will transmit or which will maybe amplify the signals, convert them to a certain uh, frequency so that this wireless thing works. So the wireless transmitter is being energized using USB. Similarly, the wireless receiver is being energized using the USB. Okay. Now let me show it to you in action. I am taking the uh, transmitter. See, computer is written here. So this is the transmitter. I am sticking the HDMI uh, pin into my HDMI slot of this laptop, but it won't energize, right? It requires something else also. It requires some energy. So either I will attach it uh, to uh, any phone charger or uh, I can also put it in one of the USB slots of my uh, laptop. Now you see it has been charged. It is, it is ready to connect. 
but then it is not able to connect see it is just blinking 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 that means it has not found a receiver yet so receiver is this so i'll take this uh, this is again receiver check it once again yes tv or monitor is written there that means it is a receiver now you go to your hdmi slot pick any one of the three slots that you have let us pick hdmi 1 okay let's insert it okay and now the other end of it is this usb so you have to stick it into one of the usb ports again of your tv or maybe even to your uh, you can use the phone charging adapter also so anything will work but i do have a usb slot so i'll be using that okay now this should energize come on this should energize this should be giving me that uh, blink but i don't know why it is not giving but ideally it should be blinking uh, now this one it is still not connected it is still blinking let me try transmitting something so what i'll do is uh, this is my laptop i'm doing windows p again windows p and i'll say please uh, extend uh, the display okay so i'm extending the display now uh, I will go to my TV remote. So where is my TV remote? Here's my TV remote. I'll take this. Um, on my TV, I'll first uh, turn on my TV. This is any Android TV, but uh, you know, if you want to know the uh, name, then it is Acer uh, Android TV. Uh, but a similar functionality will work on any Android TV. So here you can go to your um, home. And on the home, you will go to this particular uh, icon, which is input. So see, you know, I'm, I'm going to that input and then I'm saying, okay. Okay. Now this thing appears over here. I'll be selecting HDMI. Now it should be able to uh, see the screen. Now this is again an extended display like I showed the last time. But this time, what you can do is you can take your entire... Uh, you know laptop and maybe mouse uh, you can just pick it up and you can move it around wherever you like so i'm taking the laptop over here i'm able to see the laptop okay i'm able to see the laptop work on it and it's an extended screen so uh, let me just um, open some window over here let me open this notepad and uh, let me try to drag this notepad to my tv Oh, it's not going okay the extended display is on this side actually so you see the keyboard uh, this uh, notepad coming on this side yeah now if you want to arrange their positions then you can very easily do it just right click hmm? go to display settings right click on the desktop go to display settings here you will see that uh, the two screens are like this you can identify uh, the screens also so here one will come there two will come hmm? that means screen one is this laptop and screen two is my tv now if you want you can arrange them one above the other maybe like this and you can say apply now if you drag any window and move it upwards it starts appearing on the tv okay let me bring it in one frame can you see that Okay, so this is how uh, you can work with an extended display. So your laptop will be uh, close to you. Uh, your TV will be uh, the bigger screen. It can stay away from you. You can do main work on the TV, but you can also flip the apps or maybe uh, uh, open the chat applications right on your laptop. Besides this, I'll also recommend you to have a stand for your mobile so that you stay connected uh, with uh, people if they call you or they message you you stay connected and you should sit something like this okay you should be sitting at a distance and uh, the reason for doing this is to ease your eyes you can really uh, ease your eyes if uh, the screen is big and uh, you can do the main work on the bigger screen so that was the tip for today uh, and of course that wireless cable comes for around 4000 rupees um, so 
Uh, of course, it has a transmitter as well as a receiver. I leave the link in the description. This is not a paid video, but if you want to purchase anything, feel free to purchase it. Until next time, Jai Shri Ram. This is Amit Shirasav, and you can support me at amit.shirasav at the rate UPI.